<laughs> yeah. I love what I do. Yeah, that's great. You get to see different parts of the world while you're working. So well, how was the reception? Bonus. You know, you, you've gone to very different parts of the yeah. world. Um, the reception to your performance in Ethiopia, I'm sure, is a bit slightly different to what happened in the U.S. Or was yeah. it all? It was. It was encouraging. I think because people, first of all, there's very little knowledge about Botswana, ah. um, especially in relation to music for so, some reason. <laughs> well, so I mean, it's 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 really great because you make the perfect first impression. You become, yeah. you know, the perfect Hopefully, ambassador. Yeah. You know, so folks listen to you and be like, ah, we like it a lot. I <laughs> hope so. I hope that's the, <laughs> I hope that's what they were thinking. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, um, what's up next? Right now, <laughs> there's uh, work, holiday work, uh, uh -huh. bookings and gigs. And uh -huh. yeah, now I'm getting into a different type of work. Uh -huh. It doesn't and include much traveling. Well, you know there's how we talk the about it, like in, in the, the oh, media. Yeah. You know, media, we, we call it festive, a.k.a. Festive. let's get paid. Yes, let's get paid. <laughs> and there's also the Boom Awards that are happening tonight. Yeah. Are <laughs> so, you up for any? Yeah, I'm up for three, um, actually four awards. Wait, so you've become <laughs> the Adele of Botswana, you're taking everything. Or the Beyonce, I don't know. Like, I hope so. Like you walk away with like all four awards. Come. I hope so, that would be amazing. I know, leave some for other guys, She's, come on. There's also the 6th of November, Botswana Craft. Oh, She's yes, going to be performing with Lira. Lira. Yeah, oh, Lira's nice. Lira's coming yeah. down, so. Lira. Yeah. Is in trouble. <laughs> yeah, in trouble. I'm a big fan of hers. Don't so. worry, she'll be a fan of yours. <laughs> Alright. So um so you got all of this happening. Yeah. Um Perfect Pitch well, I just wanted to ask this. Who from Perfect Pitch wrote some of your songs? Um I worked with Cedric yeah. um, and BK Proctor. We did the chase. Oh yeah. nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Performed last night. Yes. Yeah, man. Well, you, you saw me. I was. I was your groupie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you you, you, you opened the stage. floor. You actually yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. And we put it on video too. Burn that. <laughs> <laughs> Got evidence. Well, yeah. we're not here just to hang out and smile at each yeah. other. We're actually here to, uh, you know, do a little, or make a little bit of magic happen. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, you guys are getting ready to do some. What can we expect from what you guys going to give us today? Um, we're going to take it old school to uh -huh. new school. I don't understand what that means. You will hear. <laughs> okay, cool. You will hear what I'm talking about. Let's start with the old school first. Let's start with the old school. Okay, Gabs yeah. FM today said yesterday's classics. You heard it here first. This is an exclusive. We've got Samantha Mokwe in studio. This is the acoustic lounge. She's performing with a perfect pitch. Stick and stay. If you guys want to get involved, all you have to do is text in on one four nine six two or call in on three nine five six two nine six two. Don't you cry 
you Shed a tear, shed a tear Don't you shed a tear Don't you cry That was pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it was I. You know what I'm saying? No, that was actually brilliant, eh? Well done, guys. Thank and uh, is that a composition of yours? No. no. Uh -huh. It's an old. It's uh, from an opera called Porgy and Bess, written by uh, an American called uh, George Gershwin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was written in the 1920s. Oh, wow. Know, yeah. Old school. <laughs> old school. No. So we meant by going from old school uh, to no. new school. You yeah. guys, uh, you went deeper, way yeah. back. The archives. Way back into time. Yeah, you guys went into the archives. That was brilliant, eh? Oh, so and you know that's also one of the, the the really nice things about some of the really versatile artists that we have. You know, mm -hmm. you you're not exactly pigeonholed. You know, you yeah. you can get soulful, you can get jazz, yeah. you can go a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I mean, last night you were rapping. I mean, <laughs> yes. we we all turned around as oh like, Zeus, okay, you know what I mean? Zeus, <laughs> the female version uh, of Zeus. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like they were whispering. You know, the audience were always like, oh, Zeus, okay. <laughs> She, 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 she's, a, she's a rap star. <laughs> you know, speaking about school, mm. uh, we have a, a concert at uh, mm. school, and yeah. um, we it's a 70s and 80s concert. Yeah. So, teaching the kids songs like Imagine, yeah. or Night Fever, yeah. and mm. so on. So, at assembly, we performed, and then this year three boy, uh -huh. about seven or eight, asked me and says, You know, music them was so much deeper. I said, Oh, you mean like low pitch? Yeah. No, the words had so much meaning yeah. that, that yeah. they do today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's from a seven year old I looked at him. Okay. Wow. Uh, obviously, thinking. Wow. The yeah. funny thing is that, like, maybe in 20 years' time, you know, people are going to be looking at, like, young thug, you know, shimmer, 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 shimmer. <laughs>